Now about the botched execution of Oklahoma death row prisoner Clayton Lockett. According to a forensic pathologist hired by Lockett's attorneys, the execution team failed to actually place an IV in the prisoner's vein. Two News anchor Max Resnick went to Oklahoma City for reaction from the state. He joins us now live just outside the Department of Corrections. Max. After reading this report, we're seeing some major differences between what the state says happened with Clayton Lockett and what this doctor says happened to Clayton Lockett. Now, folks here at the Department of Correction today said that they had no comment about this report and are waiting for the state's review, which is being performed by the Department of Public Safety. A spokesman for the Department of Public Safety said today that they had not reviewed this, co this document and they had no comment. Lockett's attorneys hired Dr. Joseph Cohen to perform the independent autopsy in Tulsa on May 14th. Cohen says the execution team attempted to place the IV for lethal injection in the femoral vein in the groin area. Cohen called the move riskier and more difficult to place. All of this despite the fact, according to Cohen, that Lockett's veins elsewhere were in excellent shape. Cohen also reports finding skin punctures on Lockett's extremities, which showed attempts to locate veins in the arms and groin area. On April 29th, the state reported a blown or collapsed vein for Lockett, but Cohen says that did not happen. The review states the execution team made a number of failed attempts to set the IV, which led to a perforated vein. Eventually, Cohen states, the execution team improperly and ineffectively placed an IV in the femoral vein in Lockett's groin. Cohen says he needs more information, including the heart and neck structure autopsy findings from Lockett's original autopsy performed in Dallas, in order to issue a final report. A spokesman for the governor's office says this report only reinforces the fact that there were issues administering the IV into the vein. We reached out to Lockett's attorney for comment. We did not hear back from him. We also reached out to Dr. Cohen, but did not hear back from him. We also made calls to uh, family members of Clayton Lockett, but those calls were not returned. Live in Oklahoma City tonight, Max Resnick, 2 News works for you.